Okay, here's the completed horn button. Do you remember it had all those pits in the surface there? I guess you can almost see some defects in the light just right, but that's that looks pretty darn good, I think. Especially considering what I started with. Um, what it took to finish it was uh, I stripped off the, the half that I already done, of course. Re-smoothed re out all those corrosion pits using that tool that's kind of knocked them down. Then used some sandpaper and carefully uh, smoothed the surface out a little bit better. About three coats of primer, uh, gray primer, sanded that. Then some satin black. And when I did that, I masked off all around the plastic bit and just painted right over those edges. There was no way I was a salvage it. The chrome was kind of screwed up anyway. And, um, and then paint, paint the whole thing black. Then when that was done, I put the tape back around the edge again to protect the, the vinyl part and used a silver uh, paint pen to go over all the edges that you can see that say dots in the, in the silver edge. It's not chrome, you know, but I mean, unless you're really going for exact originality, I think it'll present very well once I got it installed in the car. Here's a steering wheel I'm working on. This was all faded and a completely different shade of brown. Actually, it's more like golden. But you can see little bits of it like that. Um, I used a very light stain to try to get it back to the ballpark. Sanded that and then came back with a uh, with a cherry stain marker to kind of fill in the spots. It's kind of hard to get it all even because it, the condition was not that good. The only thing I have left to do is of course I'll, I'll apply some lacquer to the wood just to seal it up and I'm going to have to probably sandblast this to get it as clean as I'd like it. I'll prime this and repaint all this in nice satin black and uh, that should take care of the wheel. But yeah, it's coming along pretty nice. I, the, the, up, the other thing about this I found is the foam wheel that I had on mine, which is appropriate for the year, um, it's a 75, I think the 74, I think the 73 is the last Z that had the wood wheel, then the 74 260 came out with a foam wheel. My 75 is a foam wheel. At some point after that, it became a leather wrapped foam, which is probably better than just the foam. Um, later on, the thing about the foam wheel is a the foam deteriorates, and there's nothing you can do about that. It's just it's just the nature of the beast. Some of them are horrible. Mine's probably as good as you could expect. It only had a few. The, the pores are starting to open up a little grain, getting a little grainy looking. Some of them look just terrible. But mine's not bad. It's probably back at about a, I don't know, seven and a half out of ten. I decided I'd just box it up, keep it. I have the original steering wheel ever wanted to put it back to completely OE. Uh, but driving with the wood wheel is infinitely better. It's every bit as big as a, as a foam. Maybe the diameter might even be bigger. I'm a tall guy, so the bigger the wheel, the better to print it so you can see the uh, instruments through here. Some of these smaller wheels would cut off my vision. But more important than that is you get uh, better leverage with a bigger wheel, with a non-power steering wheel, that's, that helps. And the main thing about it is, with the wood wheel, I'm not afraid of grabbing this thing and pulling on it. With the foam wheel, I was always, I didn't like putting a lot of exertion of force here because you're basically ripping that foam away from the core underneath it. And uh, so I got, to, I got to the habit of turning the wheel by the, by the spokes which clearly gives you even less leverage. So, frankly, it was a bit of a pain just to move around in parking lots. But now that I got the good solid wood wheel or whatever this is, material, it's not really wood, I think it's some kind of composite material. Anyway, you can really haul on it, and the steering's not a problem anymore. So, frankly, I think Dotson blew it when they went away from this and went to that foam wheel and even the leather one. Uh, I like the thinness. I don't like big fat steering wheels. I think they don't look right on the car. And I'm really glad to have this. And thanks to a buddy of mine for letting me get this from him. Anyway, more later. Thanks for watching.